In the early 1900s, public concern about frequent flash flooding in the Walla Walla Valley led to federal authorization and construction of the Mill Creek Dam, Reservoir, and Levee System during the 1930s and 40s. Over the years since, the combined storage and channel operations of the Mill Creek Project has spared the cities of Walla Walla and College Place more than $75 million in potential flood damages. Just downstream of the Diversion Dam, the Corps operates and maintains the first 5,000 feet or so of the Mill Creek levees. The rest of the levee and the concrete channel system from just below the Mill Creek Project Office and running about six miles through the city of Walla Walla is locally operated and maintained by the Mill Creek Flood Control District. Thorough inspections and proper maintenance are necessary and often critical to preserve the performance characteristics of all levee systems and minimize flood-related risks that can compromise the safety of the people and property located in the flood risk area. The core managed portion of the levee system is critical to the entire system. If one of our levees near the diversion dam was to fail during a flood event, the flood flows could bypass the rest of the Mill Creek downtown channel. Downtown would probably look a lot like the Great Flood of 1931. Currently, on the core managed portion of the Mill Creek levees, the necessary inspection and maintenance tasks cannot be adequately completed because of vegetation that has encroached onto the flood risk reduction structure, covering and concealing the levee slopes. Vegetation and other encroachments can harm the structural integrity of the levees, obscure visibility, impede access for maintenance and inspection, and hinder emergency flood fighting operations. Right now, we can't even see through the trees and brush to properly inspect the levees, much less get equipment in there to make any needed repairs. From what we can see, we know these levee sections have deficiencies that need to be corrected, and it is a public safety issue. So the roots of the trees have already encroached through the levee cross section, as you can see with the cracks in the trail. These roots are making their way over to the water's edge. Now as these roots, the trees die and the roots get old and begin to decay, there is a possibility that they can start to shrink as they decay and open up pathways where water can actually start squeezing through the cross section. Wind storms during 2008 and 2012 knocked over quite a few trees along the levee, some of them completely uprooting and tearing large holes in the levee as they blew down. Fortunately, the trees fell across the levee and were quickly noticed. The holes were repaired in time to restore the integrity of the levee cross section prior to the next high water event. What we don't know is whether or not other upturned trees or any burrowing animal holes may be obscured by areas of extremely dense growth. So during high water events, vegetation like this can hide pre-failure warning conditions such as excessive seepage, sand boils, and erosion. Inspectors and maintenance staff must visually detect these warning signs in time to take corrective actions to prevent these conditions from leading to a levee failure especially when levee flows are high or at flood stages. Failure to detect these signs soon enough could easily allow pre-failure conditions to develop into catastrophic levee failures, unnecessarily flooding areas and potentially putting lives and property at risk. Detecting the pre-failure warning signs alone is not adequate to prevent levee failures. During a high water flood fight, core operations staff must be able to immediately access locations where these warning signs appear to place sandbags, operate heavy equipment, and construct other reinforcements as quickly as possible to shore up the levee. The Corps considers its levee maintenance standards critical to flood risk reduction project performance and stability, and most importantly, public safety. That means we can't have trees, brush, or other encroachments preventing access to our levees. During the past several years, Corps staff at the dam have tried a number of methods to control vegetation on the levees, mowing and the use of grazing goats proving the most effective but these couldn't touch the large woody brush and trees interfering with access to the levee, particularly on the landward side of it. Vegetation removal and levee repairs are planned to occur during fall 2015 and 2016 to bring the flood risk reduction structure into compliance with core levee maintenance standards. As a good environmental steward and to preserve as much of the vegetation's aesthetic value as possible, the Corps is committed to removing only the brush and trees necessary to ensure the integrity and operation of the levee system and associated components. The minimum acceptable maintenance zone is defined as including the levee itself plus a corridor 15 feet in width on either side of the levee from the design toe on the land side. We recently had the levee surveyed and then calculated the design dimensions of the levee to include a 13 foot wide crest, a two to one slope on each side to the design toe, plus a 15 foot maintenance zone. To assure the integrity of the levee system, we've measured and staked out 
the location of the original design toe as if the land side still had its two on one slope. This way we're only going to clear 15 feet from where the toe originally fell rather than where it currently is physically located. It is important for people not to forget why these levees were constructed. They were not built for the gentle flows that are seen in the channel on a regular basis. They were constructed to perform during flood stage events. We are responsible for operating and maintaining our portion of the Mill Creek levee system in a manner that will not increase flood related risks or compromise the safety of the people and property located in the flood risk area. Over the years, the Corps has been trying to formulate a workable solution to address levee maintenance issues at Mill Creek with minimal impact to the environment and the aesthetic quality of the trails. However, since life safety is the most important aspect of the Corps' operations, access to the entire levee is paramount to ensure the levees will perform as intended when Walla Walla needs them to during future flood events.